Welcome back guys. Tombs of Amaskut arc has been going on for about two months now and in these two months we have made massive strides in terms of completing the seven major drops and also major accomplishments. Last episode we got incredibly lucky and got not one but two Tumakin Shadows, the strongest magic weapon in the game. So definitely check the previous video link above just to get a taste of how strong this weapon is. This puts us at 5 out of 7 in the major items with only the Missouri top and bottom left, the best range armor pieces. This episode will be another wild ride full of crazy RNG moments and huge upgrades. If you are excited for this episode and also for future episodes where we will be using and testing all these new powerful items at various bosses, then let me know by liking the video and subscribing to the channel so you do not miss out. Oh shit, I hit 20 mil crafting XP, yo. Yo, I just got back from TwitchCon. Where's the crafting? Uh, I guess next 20 mil is probably mining. Yeah, we got 20 mil crafting now. All the X XP's just from Blood Ring crafting, so. You know how a while ago, Jagex was like, Yo, we're gonna make this staff here at rate 3 four times more accurate, right? But they actually f***ed up. They didn't actually make it four times more accurate. Until like, a few days ago, at the time of recording this. So that whole time, for like a week plus, it was four times more magic percent damage and only three times magic accuracy. Yeah, I noticed it. It's so much more accurate. Show log. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. We got the staff. Yeah, all right. Let's open it up. No more milking. Let's go. It's gonna be a dupe. I know it. Ah, oh, the fang. Yes, the fang. The, my third fang, actually. They're the most common drop, but... uh. Yeah, the light bearer somehow destroyed the uh, fang drops right there with seven. Yeah, I had a feeling it's gonna be a dude, but it's cool. Oh my god, the back to back purple. Unbelievable. I swear, Jagex felt some pity for me, you know? And he's like, you know what? Let's give Rice Cup hella purples race three. I was like, okay, okay. 15, 17 purples? What? This will be number 18. Holy. That's so crazy. Here we go. I'm keen. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Back to back fang. Holy shit. I just got two fangs in like an hour and, and change. What the hell? Bro, me and me and Mint slept on the couch. It was honestly pretty good though. Like the couch was actually quite sleepy. Or or that I was super drunk or tired or high that it didn't really matter. I just slept. But I I, I think I think it was the former though. I think it's because No way. No way? <gasps> back three back what no way i back three back what i think i just got my first back to back into my first back three back unbelievable what is this third item <gasps> oh yo oh my god yo yes missouri traps holy shit <laughs> Yes! Holy shit! Already? Race 1 and 2 felt like ages to get new items, but damn, Tombs is like, here's all the purples, here's all the drops. Like, holy, 6 out of 7 now. I can't believe this. So I've done close to 200 experts, and my average level of completion is probably around 350, since I've been doing a lot of 400s nowadays. And that means it's around a 1 in 15 rate for me, right? So I should have about 12 items for experts and probably around 2 items from normal. So my average item amount is probably like 14. So I have 5 more items than the average. And not only that, the actual items that I have is really freaking good too. Because I have 2 shadows and we're 6 out of 7. So yeah, we are very lucky. Average 3, without a doubt. Alright, how do you do this? Oh wait, I'm stupid. Okay. Alright, I've done this in a while. Forgive me. Ah, there we go. Okay. We're going to break one of our chain skirts. Yeah? Twice. There we go. We're breaking this. Okay, let's just look at the chaps without the augmented. So you do keep the range strain, so already it's already best in slot, even if you don't upgrade it. But obviously you want to increase the stats on attack. And the fence? Oh no, just the fence mainly. Yeah, I think the attack stays the same. It's 27 base range, which is crazy compared to Skirt. And you also gain the strength bonus, right? From the chaps. 
So yeah, it's a pretty insane upgrade. And also, I, I forgot to mention with the mass last time that there is no negative stats with Missouri. So it's just straight up better than Armadillo and Carol's all together. In every single way, pretty much. Look, you get negative stats, negative melees, but this, no, negative stats. It's going to be so good at Corp 2. Okay, now we do this. Now we add this. Okay, now we have the augmented version. Hell yeah. A lot more defense. Oh my god, look at that. So good. Just flat out. We're going to bring the blowpipe almost back to how it used to be. We're also going to just rock this shit at Corp. I'm just going to wait till I get the top though, probably, before I go back. All right. Oh, it's going to be so nice, dude. Everything uh, is going to feel much smoother at good old Corp. Well, at least the chaps look way better than Armadale skirts, even though I don't have the full set. All the grinds before, it would be like, last item at Chambers was pants. Last item at Next was also pants. Chaps? Nope. Was not the last item. Second to last major item, so. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna probably get DPS check because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I skipped it though. Sick. Okay, you can still skip it, thankfully. 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 Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out one of these bad boys. I have a free Ambrosia, so this is so free. Once in a while, Chaos just gives you a, a free Ambrosia, so... So starting in the next video, I will be bringing out all the new stuff that I got from Race 3 into the overworld. So I'm going to be working on a bunch of different bosses for the PVM log to fill them all green. And we're going to test all these new weapons. So that means I got to do a lot of Slayer because some of these bosses are usually done through Slayer or Slayer only. Well, at least the Eladinus Ward or Arcane Spirit Shoe is not completely useless. I still got a lot of Slayer related stuff to do for collection log. So... We're going to be barraging a lot, and this shield's going to come in handy. All right, two extra max hits. 150k in Slayer XP and R with the ward. That's smoke devils, what the hell? So, a week before Race 3 came out, I was working on some PVM collection lock slots. Just filling out the stuff that I did get in the past, but never made to the collection lock because, you know, it was way before the log. Like barrels. So, I was doing some barrels, trying to fill up all those slots again. And it was going good, but I decided to hold back on showing you guys because I was thinking maybe I'll just make a full video of me completing the entire barrels again with like all the new stuff. But pretty soon I am going to release some testing videos where I do the progress for collection line and test all the new stuff like Shadow and whatnot. So there's going to be some barrels involved, so it won't really make sense chronologically. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys all the... Barrel's progress for the collection log up to the testing point, and then you will see Barrel's again when I showcase like the shadow and stuff for that video. So the setup that I'm using is going to be full magic with Trident to save some runes over Sang, and Void Range so I can kill Aram super fast. And the new item that you see in the inventory is called the mysterious or strange old law pick so that's the stuff that you get from the sepulcher it has 50 charges and it can bypass all the doors in the barrows room so it's super good for rushing barrels the nice thing about range and mage setup for barrels is that arams can drain your melee stats but you can't drain your ranger magic so i can actually pot uh, range potions and won't waste it so the law picks, as far as I understand it, has 50 charges and each charge can open two doors. So one law pick can essentially open a hundred doors. And let's just, for simplistic reasons, assume that you will open four doors per run. That means you can do 25 barrels runs with one law pick. At least 40, so I should be able to do like a thousand plus barrels runs with these lock picks. Probably a bit more because sometimes you get lucky and the doors are already uh, open for you at the start. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Just a quick look at the elites. Like, none of these are in here anymore. Just so many drops are not in here anymore. I should probably just do some to fill the logs. At least elite clues are, I think, maximum 8 steps now instead of like 10 plus that used to be, so it's a lot faster now. 
So we're doing barrels incredibly fast. We're at a blistering pace of somewhere between 2 minutes to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm getting around 20 barrels completions an hour. And of course, this is pre-shadow, right? So I'm sure if I start using the shadow in the testing video, it's going to be a bit better, probably. Right now, most of the time spent is just running around. You know, killing the bosses are super quick as is. Yeah, I guess I don't really need food. Oh, that's a good spec. Whatever it is. 61. Oh my god, Volatile is so nice. I need to kill one more guy. So I can get the bolt rack chance. Oh, wait. Alright, come on, give me some bolt racks. So I can get this log. Oh, okay, skirt. Hell yeah, I already got an item, boys. Uh, second item, eh? 2 out of 24, let's go. Oh, I finally got it, Bolt Racks. A freest log slot ever. There we go. Alright, no more killing minions now, so we can actually do this extra fast. That is complimentary. Oh, got the skirt, let's go. Another slot. Slots for days, let's go. That's th three slots already. I think, oh, Derek's top. Oh my God, we are getting so many drops. Let's go, dude. We're filling the log, boys. We're filling the log. All right, let's check out barrels. Where's that barrel slot? Look at that. Dang, it's starting to light up. It's starting to glow, baby. It was fun. Oh, Derek's helm, new item. Hell yeah, another new item. Let's go. That's, uh, that's like number six unique today. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't think you get blood runes actually. So if you don't kill any minions at all, you get no blood runes. But remember, we're not killing the minions because they only affect things like runes and bolt racks and such. And I don't need those. I need the armor, so I'll save a lot of time not killing minions. Oh, there it is. Darks again. Oh, that's my max. 80. Oh, Aram's top. Nice. Oh, wait. No, that's a dupe. Ah, rip. Funny story, I looted a chest when I had to go to Barrows for a massive clue a long time ago, and I got Aram's top, so that was my 1 in 24 at the beginning. Oh, Aram's hood, unique item! Yo, even the Aram's hood feels good. Can you believe that? Damn, the log is filling, boys. It is being filled. <laughs> it's just one of the best feelings in RuneScape, I'll tell you. Oh, Carol's crossbow, another unique. <laughs> Oh my god, this is number 8. I recently... Oh, got this out? Oh, nice, new item. Let's go. Oh, Fr Frog's Bazaar, new item? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so much dopamine. Oh, Tribe's Body. Oh, unique item, let's go. Another one. Oh god, big upgrade. Always oh, got a meme about it, hell yeah. Now that is another unique item. Let's check the log real quick. Dang, we have like half of it now almost. Almost half of it now, sick. Oh, what? Holy shit. I had not seen a double barrel suit in a long, long time. And one of them was unique, the Aram's robes. Let's go. I've also been using Death Recharge, and it's really important because it allows me to sneak in an extra Volatile spec. So instead of normally using two, I actually have access to three. And the Volatile spec definitely speeds up killing the barrels, because, yeah, hitting those, you know, 60s, 70s, and 80s definitely saves time. I realized a bit after that the RC spellbook has the barrels teleport, so I can actually use Narda Necklace to teleport to the shrine to reset my stats and then just use the spell book teleport instead of my house it's actually a bit faster than what i was doing with the poh so open up three elite caskets from all the barrels i've done so far and i managed to get one unique item the infinity color kit so pretty nice so we're finally caught up with all the barrels progress we got a ton of items 10 plus slots from barrels done so far and in the next few videos, you'll see some barrels progress once again, because I will be taking out the light bearer, the fang, and the shadow to a bunch of different PVM. So I can show you guys how crazy good it is and just show you how much faster the grind is going to be for the PVM logs. So yeah, we're going to be doing mostly testing 
and also PVM collection log progress in the next three videos. Actually, maybe four because I've collected most of the clips. And let me just tell you, at least for the shadow, I have like 14 different bosses for the shadow. Honestly, the results are insane. So might have to do four videos for that since shadow might have to spend to two videos. So if you guys are excited for the next few videos, definitely leave a like. Let me know because it is going to be insane. There's a lot of crazy discoveries with all these new items at all these different bosses. So I can't wait to show you guys.